want y'all to know this is an exciting time to be a member of the body of Christ, to be part of the family of Jesus, to be in the bloodline and have coursing through your veins the very DNA of Jesus the anointed one, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of things going on in the world today. We are no longer just a country unto ourselves. We belong to a global community. The internet and having the world in our hand with this wonderful device called the smartphone is making it possible for us to hear and see all kinds of things across the globe. Anyone that has one of these little devices in their possession can transcend borders. Amen? Amen. So, what does that mean for the children of God? You know, we've been doing a series entitled, How Bad Do You Want It? I ask myself that question all the time. Lord, Make me more. Make me better. Put me in a state of mind to where I am focused on you. Amen. I can't stop emphasizing that when you come to Christ, your body, your mind, your heart, your spirit, it no longer belongs to you. Amen. Amen. The rebirth of the spirit was a supernatural transformation. There is not a blueprint that shows all the inner workings of how we came alive in the spirit. Mm -hmm. The word just tells us that when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when we submit to him as sovereign in our lives, then a miraculous change Amen. from the inside occurs. Yes. Amen. And we have to accept that that happened to us once and for all through the crucifixion sacrifice of Jesus on the cross God in the flesh, we accept that this took place by faith. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We cannot receive it in our intellect. Amen. We cannot receive it like we receive other types of information. I'm prefacing the message today because I want to get you in a state of mind of understanding that the things that we'll be discussing by the Spirit of God have nothing to do with what you've learned in your history classes, what you've learned in the textbooks, or even what you've gleaned from your limited experiences in life. These things can only be received by faith yes, amen. and amen. a discernment mm -hmm. and a wisdom that comes from being fully baptized and immersed in the Holy Spirit. So if there's anyone within the sound of my voice that has not been baptized by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you never ask the Holy Spirit to fill you up so that you can feel his touch and his presence then you need to ask Amen. I challenge you to dig deeper in your word and start finding scriptures that relate to power and authority and the Holy Spirit. See, Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen. God is no longer incarnate in flesh as a man like he was 7,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. 3, 
3,000 years ago. Whatever the case may be. Amen? Amen? He is now operating by his Holy Spirit through those vessels of his children who have opened up their eyes, confessed out of their mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. So in other words, we are now the embodiment of Almighty God in the earth. Amen. Amen. Those of you who are online today, you embody the very spirit of Almighty God. You are part of a family of believers, followers, and disciples of Jesus Christ. And we come in every shape. We come in every color. We don't all speak the same language. We've been born and placed in different geographic locations throughout the world. All for the glory of God. Every single one of us that has claimed Jesus Christ is Lord. And really what you were doing is you were reclaiming your birthright. Amen. Because we learned in Genesis that the Father formed us in his image. Mm -hmm. And then he gave us his breath and we became alive. Yes. Amen. Amen. But because of sin and the fall of Adam... We went to sleep in the spirit. That's the simplest way I can explain it. We fell asleep in the spirit. And oh, what a deep sleep yes. it has been. Until through circumstances, experiences, trials, tribulations, persecutions in your life, you decided that you needed something that this exterior natural world could not give you. Amen. Amen. And you begin to cry out to the Father that you had shut up your ears and your heart to. Mm -hmm. The fact that something was tugging at you that made you realize that you needed a Savior Amen. is all the proof you will ever need that you are both flesh and spirit. Amen. It wasn't your flesh. That made you cry out to Jesus. It wasn't your flesh that made you cry out to God. It was the spirit that was always present within you. It was the real you Amen. coming alive. So now, as we are looking. And what is happening in our world today. I want you to see it through the lens of the spirit. I want you to do away with your righteous indignation and the things that your flesh will sometimes cause you to think and feel. And I want you to take a journey with me and start to see everything in the spirit. Amen. The word has already warned us that it is not a battle against flesh and blood when it comes to the children of the Most High God. Amen. It is a battle between us in the spirit and the principalities mm -hmm. and wickedness in the high places. The devil is called the prince of the powers of the air. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there's no mistake that they refer in the word to the high places as the principalities. Amen. 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 And what is happening in the world, not just in this America, mm -hmm. but in the world is unrest. Amen. There is a shifting that is happening. You can feel it in the atmosphere. COVID-19 is a precursor to things yet to come. Amen. Amen. Some of you have a higher sensitivity to the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Your frequency is tuned in more so than ever before 
to the things that God is doing. And while you may not be able to put your exact finger on it, you know that the Father is up to something. Jesus. Amen. I've shown you in the word that when it comes to the children of God, nothing can come nigh you. Whether it be sickness and disease, whether it be an attack on your finances, whether it be an attack on your mind, yes. whether it be an attack on your relationships, your careers, your business, nothing can come nigh you without the Father giving permission. Amen. Amen. We're not going to study it today, but in the book of Acts, Jesus. in chapter 8, Due to heavy, heavy persecution by a man named Saul, who would later be knocked off his beast and be given a new identity in Jesus Christ, who became Paul. But before there was a Paul, there was a Saul. Amen. Mm -hmm. And during his reign of terror, he began to terrorize the people of Christ. Yes. They were not called Christians at that time. They were called the way. Yeah. They were called disciples, believers, followers of Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Yes. They were being snatched, men, women, and children, out of their homes and persecuted. See, the Father allowed this. Because even back then, after all they had witnessed from Jesus Christ, after they had seen him resurrected from the tomb, after many had watched him ascend back to his place in the heavens, they were still comfortable and content to just share the gospel right where they were in their little bubbles, in their little safe havens. But God, but God had to send a soul Amen. to shake up his people. Jesus. And he scattered them because they were running for their very lives. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that he did it. Because if he hadn't have done that, you and I mm -hmm. would have not had the opportunity to hear the gospel Amen. Amen. of the good news. Mm -hmm. The people in Asia, in Russia, Central America, Africa, all over the world, Europe and North America, we would not have been given the opportunity because when they scattered, they went out into all the known world. Yes, yes. What I am getting to today is that we are being shaken. Yes, amen. There's a shaking going on. Mm -hmm. And if you think that what is taking place is just a matter of white versus black, the cops versus us, the young versus the old, the rich versus the poor, you missed it. Amen. There's a shaking going on in the land amongst God's people. He wants you to wake up. Come out of your safe havens. Stop using his house as your private country club and social outlet. Amen. Begin to use his word of life and the light that he has placed inside of you to bring more brothers and sisters into the way. Yes, Amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Into his family. The same way he woke you up. Where you could no longer resist the nudge and the tug and the pull inside of you. He wants you to take that simple truth that you've uh -huh. learned and share it. What do I mean? Well, 
I'll give you a simple illustration of that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, Rachel. Thank you. On Friday, some of you have heard me tell it. I have to go back to it because I thought that I was on my way to get a simple service job to my car. Come on. Some of you have cars with these computers and you know one little thing go click and it'll mess up everything. Mm -hmm. So when your car tells you it's time to service this or that, don't delay. Mm -hmm. Go and handle your business. So on Friday, that's what I wanted to do. Knowing that we were preparing to go visit with my brothers and have a wonderful feast at their home, I wanted to make sure that our mode of transportation was up to speed. Amen. So I went down to the GMC dealership right here on Lawrence Road in Greenville, South Carolina. And I thought I would be in and out. Well, from 9 a.m. until a quarter to four, Jesus, come on. I held church come on. in the waiting room. Amen. Didn't plan to hold church. But that's what happened. Amen. 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 They had this waiting room. They only allowed a number of people to go in at one time. Mm -hmm. Because of social distancing and COVID and wanting to act responsibly. So I was in there first because it was so early. Amen. But as I sat there by myself, individuals would come in and take a seat. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the TV was on. And of course, all the talk of that day on the TV, this was just Friday, was the civil unrest mm -hmm. that is taking place throughout our nation. Yes. There is also civil unrest taking place in Hong Kong. That's right. There is civil unrest taking place all over the world. But right now, we're focused like a laser beam on what is happening in our country. Because right. this is where we live. Right. This is where we raise our families. This is where we earn our living. And I found myself in the company of an older white woman named Jan and a young white girl named Caitlin. Mm -hmm. One is 16 and one was 67. Mm. And we began to watch what was on the screen playing out before us. And the Spirit of God said, speak to them. Mm -hmm. And so I began to speak about what God was doing in the land. Mm -hmm. And how if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, I didn't know at that time if they were Christians mm -hmm. or what. Uh -huh. Amen. But I said, God is speaking. Amen. He wants us to get past the foolishness yes. of the exterior man. I can't help that I was born a woman of color. Yes. Amen. Thank you. But I am so much more than that. Amen. The breath that is in my body was given to me by a God who is no respecter of persons. Amen. And he has deemed me righteous mm -hmm. by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I have been sealed forever by the one who sees knows hears everything and is all powerful i don't need another seal of approval from any man Amen. come on now and yet we find ourselves being deceived and we've been deceived for centuries yes, yes, yes. not just in 2020 but for centuries that one group of people should have dominion over another group. Right. Mm -hmm. Based on the color of their skin, based on their culture, based on their economic background. Well, I'm here to tell you that the only thing we should be warring against is the spirit of poverty, the spirit of division, the spirit of ignorance. Amen. 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 I was not sick. To make you comfortable. Amen. I was not sent to tell you what political affiliation you should have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was not sent to make your toes twiggle and tickle your fancy. Mm -hmm. I was sent to rightly discern and to speak out of my belly what thus said the word, which is all. 
Almighty God speaking. And he's speaking to his people. And what he is saying is, my children, wake up. Amen. Amen. How bad do you want it? Yes, how bad. Well, honey, I want you to know that it's not a game. Amen. I pray for the man who lost his life, who for nine minutes Jesus. let the world know that he could not breathe. And finally, begin to beg for his mother. Jesus. My heart goes out to his family. But my heart is also going out to the men and individuals who stood around and witnessed and did nothing. For the police officer with his hand in his pocket and his cocky, arrogant look on his face, I pray for his soul. He will be held accountable by Almighty God. Yes, yes. yes. There is nothing that man can do to him mm. that will even come close to what the Father will do when he exacts his vengeance. Mm -hmm. Because he said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. I am speaking to my brothers and my sisters from every walk of life, from every color and creed, from every socioeconomic background, regardless of your education, regardless of your sexual persuasion. <laughs> we have a responsibility. Yes. You know, I listened to a live broadcast by Bishop Jakes. How he wrestled, he said, with what he needed to say. How he cried that we were still standing here in the 21st century talking about us against them. Still being blinded by the deception of the enemy. Well, I want you to know that the Father is allowing the unrest to shake up his people. Amen. Your allegiance should be to the blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, I'm so grateful to be born in the United States of America. But the truth of the thing is, it has not been a place that has been very welcoming to me. For he had married a Cushite, which is an Ethiopian. Verse 2, Miriam is saying, has the Lord spoken only through Moses? In other words, Moses ain't the only one with an anointing. Yeah. Moses ain't the only one God speaking to. Come on now, that's what it's all about. Like. I've experienced this in my own life. Who do you think you are? I remember when. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yes. So they're having that little sidebar together. <laughs> Hasn't he also spoken through us? Mm -hmm. And see, the word says, yes. and the Lord heard this. Yes. Moses didn't hear it. Thank the Lord right. heard Thank this. You. Verse 3, now Moses was a very humble man. More humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. Verse 4, at once the Lord said to Moses, Aaron, Aaron and Miriam, come out to the tent of meeting, all three of you. Now the tent of meeting was where the father would often speak to Moses about things concerning his people. So when the Lord heard brother and sister criticizing and talking behind Moses' back, he called them out. That's right. He said, let us have a meet right now. Meet you at the tent. Yeah. All Come three of you. Come on to the, to the meeting house. Yeah. To the tent. I got a word for you. Right. Uh, yeah. And so the three of them went out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. I'm helping somebody today.
day. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Then the Lord came down. Ooh. The Lord had to have been up in order to come down. Come on. Uh -huh. He was in his heavenly habitat. Amen. But he came down in a pillar of cloud. Yes, he did. Jesus. He stood at the entrance of the tent. And he summoned Aaron and Miriam. When the two of them stepped towards him, when they stepped forward, he said, listen to my words. Oh, it's getting ready to get real up in this camp. I want you to know what the father said yes. to these two. These were two of his children. Yes, Aaron were. was a priest. <laughs> Miriam was a prophet. Mm -hmm. They were his children and siblings of one of the most powerful, most humble men on the earth. Mm -hmm. He said, listen to my words. God is speaking. He says, when there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. Mm -hmm. He is faithful in all my house. Yes. Woo! The Father is laying a foundation. See? Mm -hmm. He wants you to know who his son is. Yes. Verse 8. With him, I speak face to face. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am real. Yes. I am real. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. With the other prophets, I come to them in dreams and visions. <laughs> but with Moses, I speak face to face. He said clearly and not in riddles. Mm -hmm. Then he goes deeper. Boy, this bless my soul. Yes, it did. He said he sees the form of the Lord. In other words, I don't hide myself from Moses. Moses not only sees me face to face, he sees what I look like. Amen. Come on now. Glory to God. And all of this chit chat because he married someone. That was not of their race. Uh -huh. Preach it. Mm -hmm. Preach it. He says, why then? Woo! Y'all listen to this and hear it very carefully. Because uh -huh. he asked these two a question. He says, why then? Knowing who Moses is to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> were you not afraid? Why are you messing with my boy? Huh? To speak on, against? My yes. servant Moses. Yes, Jesus. I want you to know today. I'm not putting myself in the position of Moses, but I have been sent by God Almighty. He told me that I would bring a word to people today. Yes. yes. If you don't like it, take it up with my daddy. Amen. I ain't never talked to Moses. No, no, no. He left this on record. So you would know how to treat the people that he sends into your midst to help you get closer to him. Amen. That's good. Glory to God. Wow. This was his family. This was his older sister and brother. And they were people of God. And yet they had a problem. And it's happening today. Y'all right. got a problem yes. with me because of the color of my skin. Some won't follow the teachings. Some will not connect to this ministry because they can't follow black folk. Come on, Amen. Preach. <laughs> the Father raises up people from every walk of life who will be willing and obedient yes. to do his bidding. Amen. He doesn't stop to consider what you going to think about it. Because he said to Miriam and Aram, knowing all of this, why weren't you afraid?
against my servant Moses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The anger of the Lord, in verse 9, burned against them. Mm -hmm. And he left them. Verse 10, when the cloud lifted from above the tent, oh, Miriam's skin right. was leprous. Oh, he yeah. turned her into a leper. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It became as white as snow. Uh -huh. This is a hard word, but I want you to know. <laughs> if you're playing games with the Father, he got something for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. oh. And talking about God people. Yeah. Oh. Get your mouth on God people. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yes. Aaron turned toward her and saw that she had a defiling skin disease. I want you to know that leprosy was so horrible to the people of God. It made you unclean and you could no longer be a part of those people. See, Aaron looked at his sister and he was like, wow! Whoa! She is now defiled. And he said to Moses, Moses' brother Aaron said to Moses, Please, my Lord, I ask you not to hold against us the sin we have so foolishly committed. Yeah. That word foolishly. Foolishly committed. Mm -hmm. There have been some that I have loved on and taught and honored well. with the word with my money, with my time, yes. with my home, with my heart, yes. who have wished death upon me. My, my, my. Better hear it's it. foolish. Mm. Better hear it. Verse 12. Mm. Do not let her be like a stillborn infant mm -hmm. coming from its mother's womb with its flesh half eaten away. You hear a brother crying out for his sister. Amen. So Moses, verse 13, oh my God, it's so rich. Yes. There's grace. There's mercy Amen. here. Mm -hmm. There's forgiveness here. So Moses cried out to the Lord, please God, heal her. The Lord replied to Moses, if her father had spit in her face, would she not have been in disgrace for seven days? See, y'all got to hear me. See, back in those days, you had to do everything just right. There was rules and regulations that were rigid and could not be broken. If your daddy spit Spit in your face because you had dishonored him or displeased him. You would be banished for seven days. Seven days. He just the equivalent of being kicked out of the family for seven days. But before you got kicked out, your daddy spit in your face. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. Nah, nah. Woo! Thank nah, God nah, for nah, Jesus. Nah, See, nah, Jesus nah. has redeemed us yeah. from the curse. Of the law. God is asking Moses. He said, confine her outside the camp for seven days. After that, she can be brought back. So Miriam was confined outside the camp for seven days. And the people did not move on till she was brought back.
I need to get on my knees and speak to my daddy. Amen. See, Jesus was praying. He prayed a lot of different prayers in John 17. You should take time and go read it sometimes. That whole chapter is rich because we get to hear and see the heart of Christ. Amen. Not only for the people that followed him while he was here, but for the future generations Hallelujah. that would follow him after he went to sit at the right hand of the Father. John chapter 17 and verse 9. Jesus is praying. And he says, let me get my place here. He says, I pray for them. I am not praying for the world. Some of you spend too much time praying for the United States of America. You need to pray for God's people. Amen. Amen. The United States of America is being shaken. Amen. It's Amen. time for this country to live up to the principles for which it says that it stands. The great lie of this country is being exposed every time a young black man, an old black man, or a man of color loses his life for foolishness. Whether it be a loose cigarette or a $20 bill, you are innocent until found guilty according to the laws of the United States of America. Amen. But Jesus said, I pray for them, not for this world. He said, I do not pray for this world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. Pray for God's people to stop perpetrating, calling themselves Christians and followers of Jesus and still speaking words like nigger out of their mouth. Well, Wet back. Come on. Say so. Are referring to people of color in Africa as being from shithole countries. Well, well, well. Say so. Yeah, you heard me real, real good. Amen. Well, well. If you are a follower of the living God, if the Holy Spirit is indwelt in you, if you claim Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you need to know what he says. Amen. Amen. You need to know what he's talking about in here. Miriam and Aaron found out that the Father was not concerned about who Moses married. Mm -hmm. What he was concerned about is how you talking about my boy. Amen. Well, well. The one I sent mm -hmm. to deliver my people from out of bondage. All of us are in bondage to the lies of the enemy. Amen. That's the only shackle that needs to be broken. Slavery is as old as time. Yes. Amen. Ever since the fall of Adam, yes, one man has tried to control another. Yes. One man has tried to put his knee, his foot, his whole body well. and be in control over the bodies, the properties, the thinking, the resources of another. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is a spiritual battle, people. This is an opportunity for a great awakening of God's people. White, black, Latino, Asian, Eskimo, Aborigine. Yes, Lord. African, European, Russian, yes. Croatian, 
Jew, Gentile, Greek. We're being deceived with foolishness. Meanwhile, you have family members that are on their way to hell when gasoline draws on. Amen. And you won't speak the truth to them. Yes. Because you're afraid they won't like you anymore. Amen. Yeah. You won't tell <laughs> sister, sister do that and brother do right at your church to stop talking about people Amen. and start getting real Amen. with the word of God. You're too busy worrying about who's slipped that ain't in your bed. Uh -oh. Worry about yourself. Come on now. Oh. If the homosexual wants to lock arms with us well. and go and preach and teach the gospel into all the nations yes. because they know that they've been reborn of the Spirit, I'm not going to deny them. Jesus. Amen. It's not my place to judge. Right. And those of you who've ever thought that I've judged, you are in error. You have been listening to the wrong voice. You haven't been listening to a word that the Spirit of God has been speaking through me. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Amen. The young lady that I ministered to at the dealership, the 16-year-old, she said to me, What denomination are you? Amen. <laughs> Come on now. And I said, baby, I follow Jesus. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't do religion and I don't affiliate. I'm not part of no gang. I follow Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I am a disciple yeah. of Jesus the Christ, the anointed one. Yes, he has told me that it's okay to open my mouth and speak yes. his word. Mm -hmm. He has anointed and appointed me for such a time as this. Uh-huh. And I am not afraid or of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mighty men and women need to raise up in these days and count it all joy if they call you out your name. Amen. Count it all joy if they get upset because you speak truth yes, yes. to power. Amen. Count it all joy when you tell that family member to shut their mouth. Because they're not speaking the truth of the word. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord, Lord. Do not be afraid of what man can do. Mm. Be afraid. That young man has only transformed. Yes. yes. He is now in the realm of the spirit. But his broken body mm -hmm. has galvanized a nation to yes. see. Because we heard and we saw yes, what the enemy will do when we refuse to follow the word. Yes. Amen. It's not enough to come to church. Mm -mm. It's not enough to be a, on a Bible study line. Well, mm -hmm. The Father did not pin himself to the cross and shed every drop of his blood so that you could walk around like a mouse and not receive the promises of your inheritance. Amen. He said, go out into all the nations, baptizing in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. That's what he said. And he's no respecter of persons. That's right. Amen. A more excellent way is a movement. Thank We're not a church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We're led by the Spirit of Almighty God. And we teach, preach, and rightly discern by the Holy Spirit the Word. Mm -hmm. And anything that I've said today, if you don't agree with it, check in with the Father. Amen. And ask Him to show you the truth. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let the scales fall from your eyes today. Least you fall into the snare of the enemy. Yes. Amen. And be utterly consumed. Mm -hmm. I have sons and daughters. God has placed us in this nation. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. He sent me to South Carolina to put
put you on notice that the people of God are going to stand up and be the light of the world. Amen. We will not be hid under a bushel. We are the shining city upon the hill. And we come from every color, from every culture, yes. from every denomination. Yes, Father. And we will speak truth to power. Amen. But the Lord's word will go out and do what it's supposed to and will not return void. Amen. Amen. We have to be an example to this world and for the future generations. We are true disciples and we have become a greater family. We have transcended our bloodlines. We are now in the body, blood, and DNA of the family of God by Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God and praise his precious name. Yes, Lord. I'm done. Amen. I hope you have received. Amen. Glory to his precious name. Glory to God. I want to thank God for everybody. Y'all yeah. give my wife another hand. She did a great job. Glory to God. I want to thank God for Amen. that. That was a blessing in Jesus' name. Yes, my wife covered a lot of topics as she was ministering today. And I'm what it's going to do is I'm going to give you the bone to take home. Um, first of all, when she mentioned that she was at the dealership and she was speaking to this young girl. As she began to speak to the young girl, and she began to tell the story, I'm sitting here, and God gave me a revelation. So I'm asking God, I'm going to close this up. He said, when, you, when the young girl, after she spoke to the young girl, now check this out. Amen. The young girl picked up the phone and called her mother. That's right. Amen. That's Glory right. And said, Mama, there's a preacher here. Mm -hmm. Now I want to show you something now. I'm going back, but check this out. Do y'all look in the book, the New Testament, when Jesus went to the well? Come on. <laughs> Jesus went to the well, and Jesus was thirsty, and Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well. Mm. And she, Jesus said, give me a drink. She said, well, give me a drink. She said, no, I can't give you a drink. And Jesus began to tell her all about her husbands and all about her life. Mm -hmm. well. And what the lady did... She dropped her bucket and she ran to tell everybody about the man named Jesus. Amen. That's the same thing the little girl did. That's right. She went right around and told her mama about a woman named Jesus. A woman that's talking about Jesus. Amen. Glory. Now I want to I wanna show you something. Because see, the topic here is about, not about this country. It's not about the people. The country is about God people. This world is in a turmoil. And things are going in a special way. Now I'm going to take you back when God first gave me the calling to come minister. Mm -hmm. He gave me a calling to come minister and me and Bishop took this word. And, and, and for me as I begin to walk there's always a scriptures in the Bible that I stand on for the rest of my life. I can read all the scriptures in the Bible, but there's a story in the Bible, there's a word in the Bible that I stand on. And that's in Joshua 1. I know it so well, you ain't even got to turn it. I can, I can quote it from verse 3, or from verse 1 all into verse 9. He was talking to Joshua. God came up to Joshua and told Joshua, Joshua, I need for you to lead my people. My servant Moses is dead. Amen. And I need you to lead my people. Yes. So God was saying, saying, Ricky, the old you are dead, and I need for you to lead my people. Well, Amen. Well, now he's saying this to y'all now. Mm -hmm. Listen, the old y'all are dead. I need y'all to go lead his people. Amen. Yes. Now I'm taking this thing at the Bible because you see, when you have the word of God, it's the same as yesterday as is today. That's right. And we will close this out. And what he did was. He told Joshua, and as he began to read, he said, well, Joshua, whatever you place your feet, you will have. And he said, from the from Hades to the north, actually it means from the north, south, east, and west. Yes. And then he said, this is what he said in verse 5. He said, don't worry. He said, I will be with you like I was with Moses. He said, I will be with you till the end. Now, hold up. When he gave me that, right? 
And God is telling y'all, I'm going to be with y'all until I like I was with Moses. Now, what I want you to understand is, you see what God did for Moses. Mm -hmm. Now, he spoke to Moses face to face. Yes. He let Jesus die and give us the spirit of the Holy Ghost. We don't have to go to nobody no more. We can go straight to God. Yes. In Jesus' name. That's it, right? So we are speaking. God is speaking to y'all face to face. Yes. Y'all have that power. We have that power to speak to disease and tell them to go. That's right. Yes. We have that power to speak to negativity and tell it to go. Anything that happened to you, you ain't got to worry about it because God is going to take care of these situations. Yes, that's right. Yes. Hold that's right. your head up high. Be able to speak the word. He wants you to go. He says, set. Amen. Come on. Amen. What happening to us right now, we get into a building and we get comfortable and we think that's it. Or we got our spouses and we got a little bit of money. That's not the way God wants this thing to happen. Amen. This is why he come into the world and stir the world up. Yeah. He made a mess. He lied. If you listen to St. Timothy, if you got to go somewhere and you want to go and God telling you to leave, you won't leave, he'll put a storm in action. Yes, he will. Something will happen. The boss will start doing wrong. The girlfriend will start acting up. The boyfriend will start acting up. And then you will wonder, well, God, what you want me to do? Well, I've got to try to kick you out. <laughs> but you don't want to leave. Right. What I'm trying to explain to you right now, or what God is doing is giving you a stand up. Your spirit man need to stand up. Right now, we need to stand up. Mm -hmm. We need to stand up and do God's work. Yes. Listen, he's with us like he's with Moses. Yes. He's speaking to us face to face, y'all. And he ain't speaking in no riddle. He's speaking through me right now. I don't talk as well, but I ain't speaking in riddles. Amen. 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 I'm speaking clearly right now. You can hear God right now. God wants you to do his work. Amen. There's people right now. Amen. I have talked to three people, four people in the last month and ministered to them. You know what they told me? I don't feel comfortable. Something is going on with me right now. Mm -hmm. I, 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 this, I don't feel like I used to feel or, or I can't figure it out. That's God calling on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hello. He's turning you over. He's stirring up some stuff in you. Amen. The calling of the Lord is upon you right now. So look at it and use it. All you have to do, listen, you have God with you. Mm -hmm. Step out into the vineyards. Because he said, call upon me and I'll send, him, I'll send him out into the vineyard. He's sending you out there. Yes. Amen? Yes. And I need you to stand and I need you to believe in Jesus Christ. You cannot lose. Okay? Yes. This, this, this system that out here. Speak to the world. Yes. Call. Listen, that's all you got. God gave me this mandate, Mr. Ricky. All I want you to do is call on Jesus. Yes. Just say, Jesus. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus. There's power in that name of Jesus. Yes. That's all. I don't know no scripture, but I know Jesus. Yes. I don't even know how to quote that with the pastor say, but I know Jesus. Yes. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I know Jesus. Yes. Jesus. I don't know what the I can't get up. I can't handle this. I can't even do this test. Jesus. Yes. I, I got something going on in my life. Jesus. I, I'm not healed. Jesus. I got a headache, Jesus, and it got to go. Yes. It has to leave. Yes. Just call Jesus. Yes. I was riding with my wife today, and I'm gonna give you the last example because it's it done in my spirit so much. And um, the, uh, uh, a nice, I mean, high, mighty man of God preacher was preaching. But I'm gonna use this little scripture he used when Jesus was, and Jesus and the disciple was in the boat, and he was saying that. The storm came through, right? When the storm came through, it said Jesus in the bottom of the boat sleeping. Now y'all got to understand something, right? Now Jesus in the little, back then they had the little boat, they didn't have no yacht. You understand? <laughs> they had to have a little boat. Now he said the boat was sinking. The only way the boat can sink, right? You must have a lot of water in that boat. You understand? Jesus was in the boat sleeping. God. Yes, he was. Storm blowing. <laughs> you got water in the boat. Look here, I'm trying to tell you, you got people walking over you because the boat ain't that big and nothing wake him up. Mm -hmm. But they call his name. 
They call his name. They say, one of the disciples said, Jesus. Peter, yes. Peter called him. Peter called him and said, Jesus. Mm. And Jesus woke up. Yes, he did. Mm. Wait a minute now, hold up. You ain't woke up in all that rain. <laughs> Come on now, I'm trying to figure it out now. Hold on, wait a minute. I mean the stone, water on you, and you sleeping? Well, well, well. And then now you ain't wake up, but as soon as I call your name, oh, he woke up. Yes. Listen. Let me tell y'all something. Amen. Glory. Please call Jesus. Yeah. Don't call Pastor Rick and Pastor Summer. Call Jesus. <laughs> call Jesus first. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus might send y'all to us. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Hello? Amen. That's the worst thing you want to do? I can't look here. I'm trying to tell you, my, especially my girls, all my pretty girls, I can't hide. Look here. You're going to have them little hot boys running around. Call on Jesus. First, the daddy might not be there. You can't even use the phone in the school. So call Jesus. Oh. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let him leave me alone. Amen. That's all you got to say in, the, in Jesus' name. I mean, anything that we do, we have to go out here in the virus. You can have people talking to you about this, and they're talking about all of this protesting that's going on. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all, my wife just mentioned it. Call Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for the people. We don't have to join the people that's out there, but we can pray for the people that's out there. Mm -hmm. The powerful thing you can do for anybody is pray for them. Mm -hmm. Just pray for them. Mm -hmm. Just pray for them in Jesus' name. Call on Jesus. Mm -hmm. The one that's out there on the front line, because in the military, this is what the military do. I was a front line soldier. I was out there in the front line. But you know what they had? They had them big old tanks sitting from here maybe to Greenville. They fire rockets. Mm. They ain't out there on the front line. They supporting me. Amen. Glory. All I need y'all to do is the people out on the front line, sometimes when I go out and do my street ministry, everybody ain't got to go. All you got to do is pray for us. Yes. Yes. We got to pray for us. Uh, we, oh, we got to realize that we all fighting the same battle. We are in the same war, but the battle is not ours, it's God. Amen. And remember, God is calling everyone. Yes. And do me a favor. As you see with this scripture, I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. Don't bad mouth nobody. Jesus. God can hear you. Yes. Mm. Yes. He does. Use your town. Your power of life and death is in the town. That's right. That's right. Love on them. Even when they do you wrong, like my wife said, Moses ain't had to do nothing. Mm -mm. Moses sit right there and said, wow. She done turned white on me, man. She done turned color on me. Right, skin, I lived it right there. Skin falling off. Do you know what I'm saying? That's just what you got to do in life. If you can see stuff in the spirit realm, God is already, the spirit man is already fighting your battles for you. Mm -hmm. Believe this. Me and my wife is here. Y'all are here. To speak to the world, to his people. Yes. Everybody in here should have about five people that they can speak to. And them five people have, it's just like um, what, what Taylor's in right now, free what you're doing. The, the business. The business. It's like your business. Yeah. Your business. Tell them marketing, marketing, marketing. It's just the same way. You, yeah. you speak, you get one person, and that person will get somebody, and then that person will get somebody, then that person will get somebody. That's right. That's just how it is. And then you got one, you got a pyramid, you got one person on top, that's Jesus. That's right. And that's all y'all got to do. When, like, where the ministry is right now, that's why I said one should become a thousand. Yes, Lord. Yes. You understand? And two. And two should be a mighty nation. Right. You understand? So all we got to do right now, and listen, we already got the proof right here this morning that God done told us to go out into the ministry. The, the, the spirit of the Lord is upon us to preach the gospel. You know what I'm saying? We are his prophet. And you know something in this Bible that God showed us, right? And he said, prophets I speak to, prophets I send to this, and, 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 and other people that I send to this, right? Mm -hmm. He was telling the Bible, but he said, Moses, I speak to face to face. So there's a higher calling than a prophet. Mm -hmm. Hello? My, my, my. Come on. Come on now. This, they got to be a higher calling. He, okay, he speak to the prophet in a certain way. But he said, he said, Ricky Smith and Free, I speak to them boys clearly. And Pastor Summer, huh? Sister Tori and Taylor and Tyler, and you on the line, I speak to y'all personally. Yes. Face to face. Right. face Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. And guess what? I ain't speaking in riddle And I ain't talking two times. I'm speaking clear. Come 
Right. That's what God will say. So if you want something from the Father, talk to him. He will give you exactly what he needs. Amen. Be Amen. specific about it in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. I'm Amen. finished. Well, I want y'all to know that we're not gathering together Amen. just to get a little something. Amen. Take Amen. these words from the Lord and use them this week. Yes, Lord. God this is going to give you an opportunity. I Amen. promise you. The next time we gather together, you're going to have a story. Amen? Yes. Those of you who are on the line, That's it. you're going to have a story yourself. about how God put somebody in your pathway uh -huh. that you can tell and about. you had an unction in your spirit to talk to them about Jesus. Amen. And it's not going to be the circumstance that you thought. That's right. Amen. Because he did not die for you to sit and wither away and become an average believer. Come on. Amen. Can't even believe God for a cupcake. <laughs> Can't believe him to pay your light bill. That's not what this is about. The Father says, I got you. Amen. And I've made a way for you to come face to face. <clears throat> it's not the blood of goats and bulls anymore. Amen. It's the blood of Jesus. Yes, it is. It's the blood of Jesus. And yes, some people aren't going to be able to handle you. You just pray for them, love on them, and lift them up to the Father. He can take care of them. Amen. The same way he shook you up and caused you to move in his direction. There is no one that is greater than the power of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't you write folks off. Pray for them and Amen. keep doing what the Father is telling you yes. to do. Amen. 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 Well, I hope that you all have received something to take you to your next level. Amen. 2020 has not necessarily been a year just a vision. It's been a shaking. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo! We've had to deal with a lot. Some folks walking around here with whiplash. Amen. One minute they thought it was just COVID. Now they got to deal with young people in the streets because they're angry. They got emotions all over the place and don't know what to do with Amen. it. But I'm here to tell you, cry out to Jesus. Uh huh. He says, if my people uh -huh. who have been called by my name yes, Lord. will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways. He says, I will hear from heaven. That's right. And I will heal the land. Amen. You don't have to know a word for word. No. You just gotta know that the Father is in control. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank Won't y'all take this mandate today? The clarion trumpet is sounding. That's right. Amen. We've all been called into duty. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not about what Uncle Sam wants. It's about what Abba Father wants. Hallelujah. Know your neighbors. Have an effect in your community. Amen. Where God has placed you. If you are a child or a daughter of the Most High God, nothing in your life is a coincidence. Amen. It wasn't a coincidence for me to be there all day long at the dealership. Right. There were individuals who had a divine appointment with me. Amen. It wasn't an accident that they didn't look like me. That's how we do it. Amen. One person. I got to speak to six people. And I'm pretty sure that the Holy Spirit put something on their minds. Amen. And something in their hearts. So wherever they go. They're going to take that seed with them. Amen. That's what happened. A seed was planted. Be a seed sower wherever you go. In your homes with your family. Sow seeds. Sow seeds. Some of y'all need to get some thicker skin. Get ready. To do what thus saith the Lord. He'll take care of everything else. Yes. That you have 
need of. I promise you. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. I'll be with you to the end of ages. Now, as we prepare, I'm telling y'all, the Father is taking a more excellent way to higher, further, and deeper Amen. situations in Him. It's time for those of you who have connected with this ministry, don't sow as you would to a man or a woman. We don't take anything. Amen. Sow it into God's kingdom. Be a kingdom builder. Yes, Lord. You are part of a movement. Amen. Yes, we are. God is calling on his people. <coughs> but when you sow a seed, do it cheerfully. Do it joyfully. Amen. The giving part of any service amongst God's people should be the happy time. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Give according yeah. to what your heart is telling you. Because God will not honor a seed that's given begrudgingly. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says it in his word. I love a cheerful giver. Uh -huh. If somebody's got to twist your arm, please keep your money in your pocket. Amen. Because the blessing that's attached to your seed is for you. Mm. And I cannot express. How the Father blesses you. When the Father blesses you, honey, you will know that it's Him. Amen. Yes, you will. You will know that it's Him. Nobody else. Thank you, Lord. I came to this state mm -hmm. with a nondescript sweatsuit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And some used tennis shoes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And that was four years ago. From something to nothing. Amen. And the Father keeps showing me day in and day out. I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you, Lord. And He's no respect of persons. Yes, Lord. Put ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, which is Jesus the Christ. Yes. And everything else will be added unto you. Amen. Amen. So if you want to give into this ministry, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign next level S V C S. And you can also zell us through our email, which is A M E W Redeemed. That's R E D E E M E D at gmail.com. You can also email us there. Let us know what we need to pray about for you. Let us know what's going on with you. Some of you are able through the link. You, that, that link is coming from my personal uh, cell phone. Thank you. I'm just somebody that heard the call. Amen. And answered and said, here I am, Lord. Use me how you see fit. Mm. And it's not a person within the sound of my voice. They cannot do the same. Amen. Don't look to other people for what God is specifically telling you to do. Amen. Get on your knees and get in your word and ask God to show you what he's already put in place for your life. The blueprint has already been drawn up. Amen. All you have to do is tap in. He will not leave you confused. He will not leave you blind. And he will not leave you alone. Well, well. And he will restore, restore, restore yes. everything in your life. But you have to stop looking outward for that which can only be found in Jesus Christ and his word. Amen. 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 So if you're standing on your feet, mm -hmm. we're going to Offer up your offerings mm -hmm. to the Father so that he can bless it and get the glory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, I thank you for the faithful. Thank I you. thank you, Father God, for those who come together week after week thank in your name. You. Those who support this ministry and those that are seeking you diligently while you can still be found. Yes, Lord. Father God, I thank you that you pour out a blessing yes. 
upon every single one of your people who give and give and give yes. out of their increase, yes, out of their time, yes. out of their prayers. Yes. Pour them out a blessing, Lord, that yes. there won't be room enough for them yes. to receive. But yes. Father, you know the need of each and every one of us. Yes, you said the very hairs on our head have been numbered by you. And only you know the appointed time mm -hmm. when we will be called back yes, into your holy presence for all eternity. Father God, we pray for your people, mm -hmm. not just this nation, but your people yes, yes. throughout the globe, Father. Every nook, crook, and cranny of the earth that you will continue to put a hedge of protection around them and stir up the gifts yes, yes, that are within them so they will go out into the vineyards mm -hmm. and speak the truth. Yes, Lord. You said the workers are few, mm -hmm. but the harvest is plentiful, Father. Yes, yes. Lord. Give them courage like you gave to Moses and Joshua. Anoint them and fill them with your presence by the Holy Spirit. And help them, Father God, to see you and everyone they meet. Let us enlarge your family and your territory, Father. You said do not let the light go out. Do not let the fire go out. So, Father, help us to not operate in fear. Fear, but in faith, dunamis faith, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for the increase. We thank you for the blessings. We thank you for the fruits of the Spirit and the peace that you give us that transcends all understanding. And it is in Jesus' mighty, matchless name, the name above every name, that we offer this prayer to you, Father. Amen. 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 Amen gifts are, whatever God is speaking to you in your heart, you need to lend that to his service. He can bless you like nobody else can. He'll take care of all of your needs. He'll give you beauty for ashes. He'll give you a new family. He'll give you new friends. He'll increase your business. He'll give you promotion on your job. And he'll give you peace. And he'll heal this land. Amen. He will. He'll do it. One day we will have a colorblind nation. We will have a nation that is full of warriors for the kingdom of Almighty God. I see it. God has given me glimpses of it. That's why I'm so passionate about His Word. Will you be the one to step up Step out and not worry about what man or woman is going to think. Use your sphere of influence wherever you are and speak truth in your circle. Let everybody know who you are by how you live, how you talk, and how you love. God bless each and every one of you for joining us today. I love you so. And remember, Jesus is a more excellent way. Enjoy the rest of your day. And God bless you until we join each other again on Bible study. And remember, go up on AMEW TV and see what this ministry is doing. And, you know, check in on some of the services that you may have missed. Get that word. Get that word. Get that word. It's life and it's health to all who find it. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Amen. Amen.